Hello everyone and welcome back for some more bromance here in Stellaris 2.3 Wolf with the uh, Ancient Relics DLC. I'm Mal, once again joined by Vanguard. It's about hello fellas, hello. 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 Okay, so we're still doing preparations for war, yes? Yes. Um, I guess so. That's correct. Okay, let's unpause. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. How is everybody? Oh, hello. <laughs> Just another thing. If you query, I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation, but if you order multiple times, uh, a transport fleet to attack multiple planets, it's going to ignore your orders. They're going to go to the first and the last one only. Just figure this out. So, Oh. Huh. Yeah. Now. I didn't even know you could queue them. I thought you had to give individual orders for every deployment. Yeah, you need to. You, I mean, you can press shift and order them, but they're going to ignore everything that it's not the first or the last order. Yeah. Oh. oh, the end of them, huh? That's the, uh... That's the one that was, uh... Robot fighting uprising. The, yeah, that was the citizen whatever Viteri guys. Did a number to him, though, that's for sure. But look how, look how jacked up he got from that. I mean, yeah. he really... He really got the crap kicked out of him over it, which is great because now he, he went from being superior to pathetic. So he's pathetic fleet power, pathetic uh, economic power, and inferior tech. Nice. So that was nice. <laughs> Makes life a lot easier for us. Makes me a little bit worried about where the end game event's going to spawn, though. Um, My guess is Vanguard's Backyard. Yeah. For yours. It, al it always is on my backyard. I am used to it. Don't worry. It never ends well, but I'm used to it. Ship augmentations completed. Okay, I think the AI uprising is done, right? Completed. Yes, it is. You finished it up? Yeah. Nice. Ready to take some stuff from this a-hole. This guy's been a real pain. In the ass. <laughs> this guy next to me. <laughs> God, this guy next to me. Construction complete. Uh, I want to make more claims. 
but I'm also trying to save up for some edicts, and I'm like, ugh. So even though I'm making six per, per cycle on influence, which is pretty good considering I don't have access to will to power, six is awesome, right? Yeah. Um, but I, I, I keep spending it on claims, and then I'm like, oh, dang it, I can't do capacity overload or whatever. So I'm like, I keep having to stop myself. Like, don't do it. Don't do it. Ship augmentation. Yeah, capacity overload's it. good, too. Hmm. I keep forgetting to take some of these. Yo, know, grab up capacity overload right now. Then I guess I'm going to go for the matter decompressor. That thing is pricey, but man, does it make a lot of, <laughs> a lot of, Oh, minerals. it's, it's so worth it. As soon as I can build it, I will. I just figured the responsible thing was to get my defenses in order first and get my fleets up. And then I could do something cool like that. Hopefully well, it's good to be responsible. I wish I could. I try. I try. I try. I, try. <laughs> I, I wish mean, I could be. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. <laughs> acquisition successful. Mm. I was just the consumer goods that need to be under control and I finally stabilized my empire. <sighs> that took some time. You got it stabilized? More or less. Nice. nice. <laughs> Grats, buddy. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was not easy. <laughs> I have to say I, 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 I mean, I'm telling you, man. I don't blame if I'd you. Come back, yeah, if I'd come back like you after X number of episodes or something, I'd, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Don't have the patience. Yeah, patience is a virtue. It's one of those things that you learn uh, in your lifetime. Uh, okay, so... Does any of you guys have the control of the Federation fleet? Because I just lost it. Um, uh, Trading Coalition has access right now. Okay. So I guess I spent 7k alloys for nothing, as usual. I keep forgetting that you can't change the Federation fleet because when the AI get control, we change it back, so it's just a waste of time. Yeah. Leviathan defeated, huh? Interesting. Interesting. About time. Okay. They waited long enough. Well, We've talked about that, how they, they kind of ignore, and in the early and mid game, uh, if you've got like whatever, mining drones or something that you could take out, don't leave it in place if it's creating a barrier between you and the AI. Because the AI, look at that, it's like the end of the game before that guy even went and tried to clear anything out. Yeah, he just let everything stay the way it was. The AI doesn't seem to care about that stuff. Construction. It's like it doesn't recognize the value, it doesn't recognize the value of the system being worth the resources to secure it it's yeah like it doesn't the math the math's not there or whatever to make that work right that's my impression anyway technological acquisition successful Construction complete. Construction complete. We are now... Uh... 
construction complete. Let's see. I'm trying to think, can we go to war with them now? I don't see anything that says we can't. We can. Ooh, okay. I want to send some more claims though. Yeah, just give me a few more minutes because I need to reassemble my fleet. J just a second. I mean, they're finishing upgrading 77, 78. Yeah, I've got my ships upgraded too, finally. Yeah. Which did make I, a pretty big difference. Yeah, building Pickett Corvettes just hurt my brain. I, I can't withstand them. Acquisition successful. They are so wrong in so many levels. Make sure, guys, too, because it's probably been a while. It was for me. Make sure you check all your systems and that there's a governor overseeing them. Make sure you've got your admirals. Make sure you've got generals and whatnot. Successful. Yeah. Easy to forget that stuff. Like I just swapped a, I just swapped an admiral for another one that I had, and it increased, you know, several thousand the fleet power just by making a swap. Construction complete. I'm ready to melt this guy. Ah, you and me both. I'm almost done with my next uh, step on the Strategic Coordination Center. Oh, really? Nice. Yep. 335 days and counting. So one more year and I'll have... I'll have what I need. I've got ascension perks that I can grab and I'm just like, I'm like, you know, I don't care about Voidborn that much. And I don't know, Arcology Project? I don't know that, that I want to do that either. I mean, I'm definitely going to take Defender of the Galaxy. I'm holding on one for that. Yeah. That just makes, that just makes sense for the end game. Yeah. The luck that we have is that before I got to see Kai Pickett, Defender of the Galaxy, as my third trait, or else. Now I'm in the boring part of picking up um, Admirals until the one that I want to show up, show up. It's actually a pretty cool mod for that where you can choose the type of leader that you want, be it an admiral or whatever, and what kind of characteristics you're looking for, and then it just charges you more for it. Which yeah, is exactly yeah. the way the game should be. Exactly. I agree completely. One of the, it's one of the, in my opinion, one of the stranger design choices that was made. And okay, the admirals are as good as they're going to be, finally. <sighs> Construction complete. Well, you guys ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Let me just check my claims one more time. Construction complete. Uh... What would it cost me to claim all of this? 252, so I can do it, so I'm going to do it. All right, yep, I'm set. You're claiming all of the things? I'm claiming claiming like everything. Acquisition successful. <laughs> I'm going to I'm looking forward to smashing these guys. And I think my fleets are all good. How do you guys' fleets look? Uh, Fine. I mean for me, you know, 
considering I've been on the back foot forever. Pretty pretty good. I've got one at 58k and another one at 20, so should be more than enough to take on this guy. Ooh, strategic coordination center. Mm. Oh, tasty. The final editions. The final <laughs> countdown. <laughs> I was just waiting for that. <laughs> oh, I forgot to look something. Oh. Construction complete. I think it's policies. Yeah, it's policies. Really? Defense in depth? Oh my god. I just, need capacity. I just need capacity overload. I just need that before we start the war. It's like, come on. Come on. Damn you. Give it to me. All right. Well, if we're going to do this, let's do it. So now that it's all done, what's it, what, did, what did it actually give me? Can I see? Construction. Yeah, when you hover over it, it'll tell you the breakdown. It didn't tell, all right, it, so it doesn't tell me. Are we going to war with uh, Interstellar Rackflack Authority? Is that what we're going to declare on? Yes. Gives me a ton of. Huh, it used to tell me what it gave me. Now it doesn't tell me anymore. All right, I'm declaring. Okay. Actually, I'm going to declare on the guy next to me who is his... Oh, actually, I don't, it won't let me, will it? If he's subjugated? Uh, no. No. You got to declare war on who Whoever's they are. the main... Yeah, subjugated who they're by. subjugated to, which is, uh, yeah, it's Rock Talk, whatever guy. Okay, declare war. Select. <laughs> it's not letting me do it, and I don't know why. Mm. One of you guys want to try to declare war? It won't let me. Sure. Go for it, about. <laughs> Got to vote on it, though. I wonder why it wouldn't let me do it. Yeah, that's really odd. Diplomatic alert. War protocols initiated. What up with that, man? All right. We're back to war again with everybody. Hopefully our allies hold up a little bit better than last time. And then, Mal, you got to be ready for them to come plowing through you there, the uh, Glarian or organism. Planetary oh, surface not to worry. This time I actually uh, set up a base and left a, you know, I've got a fleet behind and, yeah. Got a little bit different setup this time. Thank nice. you. Nice. Oh, administrative capacity. Yes, please. Yes. We would like that. It's quite tasty. Yum, yum, yum. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Oh, whoa. 27K. Okay, bring it on, I guess. I'll admit that was my weak point that they, that they are coming after. God bless them. God bless them. That certainly was the weakest location, but that's they they that 44k space station just smacked them in the face with its long. It didn't even care. Hardly lost any defense platforms. The fleet hardly took a beating. But that didn't feel good, huh? He's bringing in a 50k fleet on me. Oh, I'm ready for you this time. Yeah, he's got some... I'm ready. He's got a lot of 40k oh, fleets floating around. Fleet I'm, I'm still a little energy. nervous, but... We're gonna... I'm gonna do my best here.
Construction complete. I really want to catch his 50k fleet, but he's looks like he's headed towards. Oh, he's got. Actually, he's got. Alert! Hostile fleet assets detected. Mm, Hundred thousand. Yeah, this guy's got forty something thousand. I'd like. I'd like to know. I'd like to know how the AI keeps these fleets hidden at peacetime when we have listening posts. Like, where the hell are they keeping these that they can't be seen? That's a good point. That that that's a little bit annoying to me. This is a question I would also like to have answered. All right, hopefully my allies can, or our allies here can, the spider people can hold these guys off a little bit longer. So it's not putting so much pressure on me on the south. And I can focus on my war in the north. Construction complete. Technological acquisition successful. Wow, it's going to take me a while to take this system. They've got like four habitats and three planets. I'm going to be there a while. Construction that's a lot. Complete. Yeah, but I gain it and he loses it, so that's a that'll be nice. Construction complete. Hostile stationary asset engaged. How you guys doing? Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fighting a 60k fleet right now. Oh, where's that fight at? Um, we F U Y P S O N E. They took a beating. I lost a lot of ships, but they lost more. It was like seventy-five from my side. Okay, their main fleet is defeated. Successful. Yeah, I lost seventy something ships on that fight. Alert. Hostile fleet assets detected. Uh, they're harassing my transports. The AI is smarter. He sent one ship to harass my transports. So I've got to send a fleet to back them up. Construction complete. Construction complete. Yeah, I'm trying to watch out because this guy's got some pretty big fleets floating around. I don't want to get uh, sniped by one of them. He doesn't seem to be using them just yet. Hostile fleet assets engage. Aha, there's a 43k fleet. How did that get past me? Yeah, I'm sending one of my 42 against their 32. That's the Federation. I can't fight that. Yeah, the Federation fleet is over 100. There's no way we can oh, fight they it. They have two four Federation fleets. Alert. Hostile fleet assets detected. Okay. Oh boy. I can't lose this system. I'm gonna have to start heading that way. Yeah. Okay. Both the empires 
Uh, on my side are defeated. Nice. Sweet, that's good. Yeah. Making decent progress over here against light blue guy. Just he's got so many like things I've got to take over with armies. It's taking a while. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. It the, he's got six. He had six. He actually has seven things. God, this guy's got so many fleets. He just this. This guy's got seven things that I that you have to take over. Well, two of them aren't habitat. He's got two habitats that aren't even like colonized. So weird. Oh, we're at time, fellas. Yes, we are. Okay, folks. So we'll come back and obviously continue the war in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal for Sabouts and Vanguard. We'll see you later. Bye. See you guys. Bye-bye. Later, everybody.